Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to do a shave video. This is going to be the last shave for 2021. I'm going to go ahead and wet the face. <music> In today's shave, I'm going to be using a soap by Crown and & Crane. And, whew, man, I already know because I had this thing whipped up in a bowl. <sighs> this is a tallow-based soap, but it is tobacco and vanilla. This is probably my favorite scent of all the soaps I have. And I figured, why not send off 2021 with an awesome shave? And... I know that I'm probably going to upload this video for Sunday because we're going out tonight and uh, I'm not going to be uploading any videos after that. <laughs> All right, I have that whipped up in my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl with my Samoog Boar Brush. And I used a quarter of a teaspoon and this soap was thirsty. I used 18 milliliters of water. And let's just see here. Oh yeah, that's what we got. It's beautiful. The scent on this is excellent. Just imagine opening up a package of pipe tobacco and that is what you have. It is delightful. Mm. I can only say that much. I'm taken away by the smell. I'm just going to eat it too. Ah, oh, smells that good. I'm so excited I didn't even show you the razor yet. What is going on? I know you guys get excited. I get excited. Anyway, this is the razor that I'm going to be using. It is all brass and it is near 100 years old and uh, one of the things that I find is really cool about it is when you twist this knob Here and when you go to closing it Closing it close it Let's see if you can see it. the door will actually slide down to lock into place and it is an open comb This is a gym micromatic and I'm going to be using the brand new gym single edge blade See if I can do this without getting my fingers. Now, I did purchase these. Uh, oh, let's see. What was I going to say about this? I'm thinking about what I was going to say about this. This is what the uh, blade looks like loaded in there. And just twist that baby down. Wow. Hmm. That thought escapes my mind what I was going to say about those blades. Warmed up the razor, and let's get our shave going. Oh, man. It's just so interesting to me that so long ago, and I don't know why I think that people didn't have good ideas back then, but just to think that they had this figured out to make such a beautiful razor like this. And to look at the crap razors <laughs> that are out on the market today as far as the big box stores. You know, you see the, the new Gillette with the 20 blades in there. And, and they're saying it's the best a man can get. I truly feel like, you see how bloopy the soap is? That's, that's the, the right consistency for me. I need to wipe my hand off so I don't keep dropping it in, uh, in the video. But, uh, man, the, the shave that this razor gives. This is supposed to be one of the most aggressive ones that they came out with. And I don't find it to be aggressive. But I will say that it's definitely efficient. And I know why these razors are no longer in production. 
is because most companies, yes, they are out to make a product. They're also out to make a buck. And with such a razor like this, you buy it once. You don't have to buy it again. And uh, so, you know what I'm getting at. I'm just speechless. That soap is definitely slick. And of course, you know, I'm just rubbing it all over. So there's there's going to be a lot of residual slickness there. I know what I was going to say about those blades. Jeffrey, he was the one that showed... Or in one of his videos, he had said, you know, where you could get a uh, bulk order of those blades instead of just ordering the onesies and twosies. And I took advantage of the information that he provided. And I bought a hundred pack. Wow, that is just... That brush is just what I needed along with the soap and the razor. I don't know if a shave can get much better than this, but let's just do a little lather demonstration because we all love that. Let's go ahead and get what we can get out of the brush. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, I wish there was smell of vision because if you guys smelled this scent, if you go onto the Razor Company's website, it's all sold out. That should tell you something. I have thought about polishing this razor but I kind of like the uh, patina on it. Kind of reminds you that it's something from the past. What do you think? Should I shine it up, polish it, make it look pretty, brand new? You can hear on the uh, on this pass how. Well, at least on my cheeks, there was really nothing to be had. I have some more vintage razors that I'm thinking about using in some upcoming videos. So, if you're not subscribed, you should consider subscribing today. Right now, don't hesitate. Call 1 800 subscribe now, and you will be updated on any of the upcoming videos. Off camera, I did a cool water rinse followed up by an ice cube, and I'm going to follow that up with some Sterling Splash, and that is the glacial version. And I did get myself right there, one little spot. And you know, no shaves complete without some star jelly. Did you notice I lowered the camera just a little bit? I didn't want to be looking up. <laughs> Man, that was an excellent shave. So smooth. All right, well, there you have it. I will have a picture right here, or should I put it right here? Let's just put it right there of everything that I used today. And like I said, if you haven't considered subscribing, do that now. And I really appreciate all the comments and concerns. There's really been no concerns, but you know, if you have a concern with the video, comment below and let me know, and I will try to improve on my next video. You guys have a great rest of your weekend and a happy new year. Thank you.